Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is the look that I've done today. I sat down and I didn't have any idea what I was going to do but this is what I came up with and I do really like it. So I've used the Huda palette on my eyes as well as some Urban Decay. Um, this is Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. And yeah, I like it. I don't know what else to say. So if you like this and you want to see how I did it then just keep on watching. So I have a vague idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and this is my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics? Naked Basics? Naked, naked, naked Palette. You know what one. And I'm going to dip into Face which is this shade here and I'm just going to start smoking that up into my crease. I'm going to take it quite high and wing it out as always. I don't think I really do my eyeshadow anymore without the tape and the winging it out. I just think it, because I have small eyes, it just helps them look a lot bigger. I've not primed my lids. Damn it. So I want to have quite a warm crease. So I'm going to go into my Huda palette and use the shade Henna and I'll probably mix it with Sandalwood a little bit and start popping that in my crease as well. To make it even warmer I'm going to go into Extra Bitter in the Urban Decay palette. Pop that more into the crease. I'm going to go into the shade Man Eater in the Huda palette and pop that in the crease as well. I want it to be more of like a red toned brown. If you're debating buying the Huda palette, which a lot of people are because it's super expensive, I think it's like £56. So, you know, essentially 60 bucks, but oh, it's worth it, honestly. So I've just spent a bit of time blending all of that up and blowing it out even more. I added a bit more of the original Faith colour up top near my brow, put in a bit more Man Eater on my crease. And now I'm going to go in with Bossy and put that on my crease as well, but on the kind of outer, outer bit. Outer half. Blendy blend blend. So that's what we're looking like just now. Pretty blown out, smoky, sexy and dark. Just like me. That's a joke. Um, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline colour tattoo. This is in number 91 Creme de Rose. It's just a kind of nudish, pinky colour and I'm just going to start carving out my cut crease. Put it in and make me miss a tutorial without a cut crease. Just keep look, like taking a sitting back, taking a step back and looking so it's too high at the front and not at the back so I need to even it out and bring it higher. Use my finger and this shade Angelic and pat that on and see what it's like. Sometimes this shade doesn't come out quite as bright as I hope but actually over that base that's working really nicely. That colour! Okay, so that is how to get the best out of this colour. A nice creamy base. I'm going to use a flat brush to go around the edges just so I'm keeping it precise. I 
finish off this eye on camera and then I can just do that one off camera and then that might be a bit faster. So winged liner of course. I'm going to do quite a long wing. That's the wing on and now I'm going to go in with my collection Glam Crystals in the shade Dancing Queen. Is it Dancing Queen? Yeah. And I'm going to do a bit of a glitter line up top. So let's move on to skin. Oh, by the way, how amazing are these lashes? So for skin, <coughs> okay, for skin today, I'm gonna to use my Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the shade Light 44 Cool. And I think I might mix it with a bit of a luminizer because it's very, um, flat and matte. So on my hand I've got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and I'm just going to mix that with some foundation. Probably too much. Hopefully that's not darkened it too much. Yeah, it's way too much. You know when it's like an expensive one you don't want to waste it so you just like put it all on anyway. Idiot. Real Technique sponge. I've decided that I prefer this over my um, Beauty Blender because I like this big flat edge that it has. It covers more square footage. For concealer I'm going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade 010 Ivory. I've actually really been enjoying this um, concealer recently. It's not heavy coverage, it's not full coverage, but it's just a bit kind of perfecting. I just think it's nice. For powder, I'm going to use my RCMA No Colour Powder because I actually feel like this does kind of whiten the makeup and I feel like my skin is looking a wee bit too dark for my body. And then on a big fluffy brush just over the rest of my face. So I'm dying to add some dimension back into this very flat looking face. So I'm going to use my um, Soap and Glory Solar Bronzer. And this is a real, not a real technique, this is an Eco Tools blush brush. But I love it for bronzing. To contour, I'm going to use my very trusty and well loved Hula. Hit pan on there. back in with my bronzer brush over where I've contoured just to make sure it's all super blended and flawless. I'm going to use my Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Gleam, which you actually can't buy anymore, so if you don't have it, I'm sorry because it's so nice. I'm going to use Stardust today, Stardust, Starburst even. Stardust is quite a nice name. I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna start heavily applying that to my face because this is a full-on glamazon look. I'm 
for blush, I'm going to go into my MAC um, Nutcracker Suite. This came out at Christmas. Um, little palette, and this is in the shade at dusk. This blush here on a little precision blush brush. I really, really rate Eco Tools brushes, and they're just as affordable as Real Techniques. You can always actually get them in TK Maxx for cheaper anyway. And then as usual, on the apples of my cheeks, I'm gonna use Benefit Dandelion, just for a bit more pink. So we need to finish off these eyes. So I'm gonna go into back into the Ultimate Basics. And just on a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into that shade Faith that we used first. And just pop that underneath. This is the shade Extra Bitter that I'm using now. Which is a bit warmer. And then on a more flat, precise brush, I'm going to go into the shade Man Eater from the Huda palette and just run that a bit closer to the lash line. pop on some lower lash mascara in my waterline I'm gonna go in with Colourpop Prance gel liner which is like my usual thing to do now because I think it just looks so beautiful and I will be very upset the day I run out of this liner so for lips, I think we should maybe do a little bit of maybe like a glossy nude because I think that would just go nicely. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW Hot Lips, which looks like this. But first of all, I'm just going to line my lips quickly. And in with the lippy. So that is the finished look. I really hope you like it. A bit glam, a bit sparkly, just everything that I like really. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did then please leave me a comment, chat to me, give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe because my husband has promised me a lot of new makeup when I get to a thousand subscribers. Hi Hamish. Joking, I'm not joking. So yeah, anyway, yeah, thanks so much for watching and joining me today and I'll see you again next time. Bye.